kind of like what I try to do to stay healthy. So I got some apples, a pepper. I am obsessed with these. Everybody has a different shape, everybody has a different body, and everybody is literally beautiful. Tonight, Rachel is making nachos. It's like my favorite thing to do is a little like egg scramble. Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Peyton if you guys are new here. I'm like totally dressed like I'm going army mode or something. But hi, welcome to my channel. Today is going to be a college what I eat in a day. I thought it would be fun to kind of take you guys through my meals. Kind of like what I try to do to stay healthy and all of that stuff because I don't know. When I was like younger, like a freshman, sophomore, I loved watching these videos on YouTube and I thought I would go ahead and make one. I'm super lucky and fortunate to have like a full kitchen in my apartment so I can actually like cook things I'm not like in the dorm life anymore which was actually really hard for me to like stay healthy and eat healthy back then so if you guys are in that position this is not what I would eat like in the dorm it was much more difficult because you'd have the calf and everything yeah I also just wanted to like really quick have a little chat well first okay so this morning I took some clips I was too tired to like actually speak to you guys because it was like 8 a.m. but I took some clips of a little protein bar that I always have it's a little zone bar I showed you guys like the macros on it they're pretty good they have a good amount of protein maybe a little high on the carbs but I don't really care and they taste like dessert the fudge graham flavor tastes like literal dessert it's so good so I just had one of those and then I made myself a Nespresso a little caramel pod that was the flavor I used and I just put my all-time favorite creamer right now which is the pumpkin spice creamer I showed you guys I think it's by silk is that what it is so it's like an almond milk creamer it's phenomenal and I'm just like very much in the fall mode so I was here for it. So that was my quick little breakfast. I'm about to have a breakfast number two in a second, but I'm actually headed to the grocery store to pick up some groceries because today's Monday and I didn't go grocery shopping yesterday because I've just had like a very busy weekend. So quick disclaimer that I just want to say, please do not feel the need to follow my exact diet. If you see like Oh, she eats like this. Maybe I should eat like this. The answer honestly is no. I have had my moments where I followed someone's exact like calorie intake and I've had it where I was starving or where I actually gained weight. I'm gonna put you guys back down. So what everybody eats is different for everyone. Your body is going to require a different amount of calories than my body is. Your body's gonna react to foods differently than my body is. And that's okay and that's like what makes us all original and unique. So I'm not gonna go through calories at all. I do not track my calories. I used to, I will admit, like I used to track my calories. I used to be pretty aware of what I was putting into my body. But honestly, this past summer, I kind of just chose to start trying to eat intuitively and it's just gone really well for me um, it definitely took some practice because I used to be someone who did not know how to eat intuitively so I would overeat a lot yeah so my biggest tip to you is if you can just learn to eat when you're hungry and stop when you're full I truly believe that's going to be your biggest skill when it comes to if you want to like maintain your weight um, losing weight is a different story I'm not trying to lose weight right now so I'm literally just eating what I want you guys will see I'll probably eat some Oreos today probably one of those little caramel candy little suckers yeah I just like really want I could like literally talk about this I think for an hour but I just feel like there's such a culture of like eating super healthy and like there's even like a culture that like not eating is cute and I just want to like remind you that your body was put on this earth to eat your body needs fuel like it really does as much as you might think <laughs> like a thousand calories a day is like sufficient it's not yeah I just used to be in the place where I kind of had some disordered eating habits I never had an eating disorder but I would eat with disordered habits if that makes sense and I'm so much happier where I am now and that is just intuitively eating eating sweets when I crave sweets like kind of just like eating what I want honestly and I don't know I just like want to inspire people to love their bodies and wow my camera's dying that's offensive just love your bodies and be comfortable in your own skin everybody has a different shape everybody has a different body and everybody is literally beautiful so that's my body positivity speech for the day we'll cut it off here we're gonna go to the grocery store get some food and then I'll take you guys with me for lunch slash like breakfast number two Quick little grocery haul. I only got like a tiny bit of things since I'm leaving for home on Thursday. So I got some apples, a pepper, some brown rice. I have this cold brew. I usually get the Starbucks one, but they didn't have Starbucks, so we're gonna try that. 
zone bars. This is what I had for breakfast this morning. My bagel thins, and they're like the everything bagel. And some eggs. And then I already have, I need to take it out. Do you want me to take your ground turkey out, Rachel? Oh, I also got one of these steamer things just in case I need like a quick lunch or something. And then I have this ground turkey that I got last week that I'm going to defrost. Okay, we're about to make my second breakfast. And what I'm going to do, this is like my favorite thing to do, is a little like egg scramble. So I'm going to cut probably like half of this red pepper and then like not even like a fourth of this onion. Just like little bit of it and I'm gonna saute that a little bit and then mix my little eggs up I usually do one egg and two egg whites and then put that in the pan once like the onion and pepper have been sauteing for a little bit and then uh, I like to add cheese on my eggs I also I don't know if everyone does this I think Rachel does this you put the milk in right yeah I like to put a little splash of milk in when I mix it all up I'm also gonna make this little bagel thin with some cream cheese and a second cup of coffee because I'm already tired so yeah I'll put you guys on a little montage let's do this Till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't wanna waste what's left And I will go This is the cream cheese I use. Rachel put me hip. It's whipped so it spreads. Hello. Okay, finished product. My mouth is literally watering. I put hot sauce on it. I think you guys saw me do that. And then my little bagel thin. And then this is just a second cup of iced coffee with the same creamer. I'm so glad. Guys, it is 2.30, which means it is lunchtime. And I'm starving. Hold on, I'm just putting you on my tripod. I have had a stressful afternoon. So. I am about to make lunch. Oh, also, I wanted to tell you guys, because this is a true day in the life of eating, I had an Oreo after my breakfast. Okay, so what I'm gonna do for lunch, I am obsessed with these. The Simple Truth uh, Natural Chicken Burgers. My roommate and I have been on the hunt for these for so long and she finally found them at like a store near her and she bought four boxes, so we are docked with them and I'm just gonna make one of these and I like to kind of just like eat it with ketchup it's really good I can show you guys the ingredients or not the ingredients like the nutrition thing okay if it focuses there we go I think you can see that but basically one burger has six grams of fat one gram of carbs and 30 grams of protein which is like perfect and then for some carbs I'm just gonna eat it with an apple because I bought some honey crisp apples today you guys saw that this morning so yeah I'm just gonna make this really quick and then I will show you guys the finished product Okay, so this is the finished product. We have that little turkey. No, it's a chicken burger. When I cook it, I have to like cut it up into chunks because it will take literally so long to cook it through if I like leave it in the patty. So then I just do fruit. Sometimes if like I don't have like an apple or something, I'll just do this with rice or something and like peppers and onions. But today, we do not have time for that. Some of you guys might think this meal is a little weird, and it honestly is, but just like I do not have time to like cook up like a gourmet meal at 2.45, and so I'm gonna eat this and then get back to work, and then I will show you guys what we're having for dinner tonight, which is being cooked by Rachel, and I'm really excited. Here we go, I'm gonna explain it. You guys can see the little menu board behind us, but I've mentioned in a few of my vlogs that my roommates and I do this fun thing where Monday through Wednesday, cause there's three of us, each of us cook for one of the nights. It's honestly like, I'm so happy we do this. I don't know about you, but it's basically so nice because two of the nights you just get like a very nice meal prep for you because we like actually like try hard and we try to like make yummy things. So Mondays are Rachel's nights because I typically have meetings for my AED club and then I usually cook on Tuesdays and Emily, our other roommate, cooks on Wednesdays. It's literally the highlight of my week when I get my dinner made for me. It reminds me of when I go home when my mom cooks for me. Tonight, Rachel is making nachos. She hasn't done this before and I'm really excited. She's gonna tell you like what she's putting in it and everything like that. 
but I just wanted to intro and explain why Rachel is doing the cooking. Tomorrow I have meetings again from like 5 to 8 p.m. So I'm just making, or literally I'm not making it. My mom gave me chili a few weeks ago and I like put it in the freezer. So I'm just gonna give Rachel some chili with a piece of bread. <laughs> that sounds really lame <laughs> compared to what you guys are doing, but I promise I've made good things in the past. What else? Oh, and Emily works tomorrow night, so I just cook for Rachel and I, which is kind of sad, honestly, because like then Emily cooks for both of us on Wednesday. But when we can, we try to give Emily leftovers from Monday so that she can take it to work. But anyways, I'm explaining like this a lot. You guys probably don't care. So yeah, I'm gonna go to my meeting and Rachel will tell you what's up when she's ready. Hello, so Peyton is in her meeting, so I'm gonna talk to you now. I am making turkey nachos. I have some ground turkey that I'm about to throw on with whatever I have left of this handy dandy taco seasoning. I have a thin layer of nachos laid out and we're doing black beans, sweet corn, jalapenos and onions and a little bit of cheese. And then while I'm cooking the meat, that's gonna go in the oven to get warmed up a bit. And then I'm also trying to make a queso dip with some tomatoes and jalapenos in it. But I've never tried that before, so we'll see how it goes. I will show you as I go. Oh my God, how do I turn this off, Peyton? I'm also holding the beans on a third of the nachos because Emily is not a huge bean fan. <laughs> so Emily just got home. I just got home. And I'm about to throw the nachos with those toppings you saw in the oven. And then I'm gonna start the queso while the meat is going. So I just took these out of the oven. They were on a low heat for like 15 minutes. And then the meat is done. My queso's done. I just have to chop up like lettuce, tomatoes, green onion. I didn't get a chance to update you on Rachel's little meal. Those nachos were so good. She did such a good job. They were just like I was starving so it was so good and like I said it's so nice that like twice a week my roommates cook like we just like get a meal cooked for you us like that's so nice with like how busy all three of us are also i am about to have one of my little caramel like candy apple suckers like the ones that come out during the fall so that will be my little treat before bed other than that that is my full day of eating obviously our dinners change every night because we try to get like creative with different meals and stuff but in general that's pretty much what i always eat like for breakfast lunch and lunch number two yeah it's always just like a mixture of like fruits veggies i know i need to eat more of both of those but i do my best yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget that everybody requires a different amount of calories a different amount of nutrients all that kind of thing so don't feel pressured eat exactly like me yeah everyone's different honestly my the thing that saved me was just figuring out how to eat intuitively how to kind of stop when I'm full. I think I ate a little bit too much of those nachos, honestly, because my tummy hurts a little bit. That's just what I want you guys to take away from this video. Maybe like some fun, quick, easy meals because obviously I do not have time to like cook luxurious meals for every meal of the day. That's just like not realistic for college students. Yeah, you guys should really try those tr uh, chicken burgers. Those are so good. And just like easy little egg scrambles. Sometimes I throw in avocado toast, that kind of thing. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys then.